easy, Olson. I couldn't make it easy. It's my job. I gotta give happens. you challenges. <laughs> when we tell the DM our plans in any amount. That is true. No. That is true. I don't try to disrupt your plans, actually. I I try. I want you to succeed. But it's helpful for he me does, to know. He does, but he doesn't try to. <laughs> I make it a challenge, but... <laughs> Welcome back, by the way, <laughs> to Legends of Alos. Uh, yeah. Um, douche guard. Now, walking over to the stairs, about to replace one of the other guards. Unless anybody okay. would like to do anything David. before. Yes. Yep, so Asher is going to <laughs> pop out of invisibility, cast third level charm person on all three of them. Oh, okay. So that is <laughs> that a that. 16 wisdom save on all three of them. Best of luck. Wisdom save, douche guard. Wisdom save, save. What is the what is the DC? Sixteen. Charm person. Yes. One of them has failed. Only one. It is douche guard. <laughs> <laughs> Turn him into a new. He's gonna come in and say, "They went into the cell." <laughs> you are one of them. <laughs> okay, uh, roll a deception for the other two, I guess, because they're confused. They're not unfamiliar with you, I so. Hold on. I don't know why I rolled that. Ugh. They are two of them that have made patrols through. <laughs> Deception? I have a plus zero, but I rolled a 19. Okay. Um. <laughs> what? What, Ellie? What? Nothing. <laughs> you see, as, as you drop your invisibility, they kind of, like, raise their crossbows, and they're like... And then the other one turns the... Um, as he's walking towards the steps, he turns, and then the charm person does affect him. And he kind of... His countenance changes. Oh, hey there. Would you mind escorting us while they check the cell? Yeah. Uh, where do you want to go? Um, she knows the way. Um, I'll be right. And he's gonna poly or he's gonna wild shape into a hedgehog and like go up to the closest person to him and just like scratch at their legs um I will go ahead and have you roll a deception check you have advantage on it because he is charmed um charm person doesn't necessarily mean that he does everything that you ask it just means that you have ability checks against him so let's go 17 plus 0 okay the uh, 17 you see he's he's confused like he's like um, i like he's conflicted about what he's supposed to do um and he kind of just freezes up he doesn't uh like make a move forward you see the other two are kind of like eyeing him they kind of lower their crossbows a little bit and then you poofed into what what did you turn into <laughs> I'm a little hedgehog, and I'm waiting for somebody to pick me up. <laughs> um, one of the guards kind of, kind of eyes eyes the other one, and he kind of like nods to him, and he nods back, and starts to back up, and then starts to head up the stairs. You hear he makes it up the stairs a little ways before the sound stops as another sound of boot prints makes its way down and you hear as those pairs there's a mumbling of voices those pairs of boot prints both begin to come down 
You see the one at the bottom of the steps kind of looks up, whatever, and then you see his countenance kind of change, and he stiffens up as the initial guard that went upstairs is now accompanied by Hargar, the Hand of the King. They come down. The guard reassumes his post, and Hargar looks at him. And then to the douche guard. What is going on? He kind of looks over at the group, eyeing the two party members that are uninvisible, and then... (laughs) I will will pick up the headshot. (laughs) Uh, And then Aurelia makes eye contact. He comes over and puts a shoulder on uh, the douche guard kind of like turns him. The douche guard's kind of confused. Hello, sir. I said, what is going on? Um, we think some of them have escaped. Uh, then they kind of went invisible. Then, uh, one of them kind of went uninvisible, turned into a little rodent, and, uh... I think we're supposed to escort him somewhere. He kind of pulls him in close. On whose orders? Yeah, um... Well, she said it was on uh, orders of Joffrey. Um, uh, simply like, give them the last rites and whatnot. Um, but somehow she kind of let him out, which is strange, because I never gave her the key. And, uh... The lie! Hargar turns his attention to you and begins to uh, walk forward. He comes up probably within five feet of you. He's like staring you down, (laughs) Aurelia, um, kind of recollecting the encounters you had earlier the unspoken dialogues that you guys had they could be on their way to kill the queen right now you all are wasting time being here they're gone I need to go get Jothrin so that he can help with combating this magical these magical beings Your guards can't handle it on their own. We're wasting time here. The queen is in danger. The princess is in danger. Please. Roll a deception check. Eighteen. You see is Hargar kind of stiffens up and places his hand on his hilt. And then nods at you. She's right. Go secure the queen. There's civil rest, unrest out on the wall in the marketplace. Some of you secure it. Go defend the queen. He says all of this while staring at you as he issues the orders to the men after some time. Realizing that the men have not left, he breaks eye contact with you and turns kind of over his head. Have you heard what I said? And they kind of stiffen up and uh, carry on up the stairs. He just tilts his head as he stares at you. 
and then eyes Karun. Eyes I Briar. Asher has just turned into a little ball of fur. <laughs> <laughs> Karun's hands just. <laughs> yep. well, That's literally, I'm just cupping him like in my hands like that. <laughs> I, I was going to respond to him telepathically and just say, Thank you. Nods to you. Leave. Get far from here. I give, a, I give a nod to Hargar and then I quickly usher my novices out the door <laughs> my novices out the door you see he stands there as you make your way over towards the stairs he doesn't turn around he stares kind of like head bowed like processing um whether he's made the right choice, whether probably a lot on his mind <laughs> um, as he lets you go. You make your way up past that third level into the second. See as uh, that douche guard is kind of like preparing his some of his equipment to head out onto the wall as you pass by the door he looks up at the group and then slams a knife down into the table and kind of gives like one last stink eye as you pass by I know that I would like to send a message to Porvis once we are not being directly observed. Okay. Um, you'd be able to do so probably in the midst of the walk up through the stairs. The other two guards have already made their way out up into the courtyard. Attend to the civil unrest of the city and secure the queen. Porvis, it's Karan. We've got them. For however close it was, we're beginning to make our extraction. Sounds good. I'll start to make the moves. Your horses are at the northeast gate. Well fed and bridled and ready. And then um, I will communicate telepathically to everybody that he's put our horses at the northeastern gate. That will be where we need to make it. Otherwise, he is continuing with the plan and moving. The distraction. You guys make your way out. Now into the courtyard. Guard presence kind of rushing around. Make a performance check. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> At least those visible. To reroll it went off my desk. Not 20. Noise. Crun? 17. 17. What? What did you? 10. Ten. She is sweating. Yep. <laughs> it's been my six. 
At least it's the one that can pass muster under close inspection. <laughs> she is I am definitely exactly a temple light. I I am. Yes, there is no lie. <laughs> um. The nervous look on your face as you rally the party, um, the invisible folk staying close at hand, the hedgehog <laughs> in hand. <laughs> I, I would have tucked him into a pocket at this point. I'm not like walking around cupping a hedgehog like it's a platter like the whole time. Like, look, look at my hedgehog. I need to get this to the queen. No, uh, Isn't tucked away in a pocket adorable. at this point. Um, catch an occasional glance your nervousness can be chalked up to the unrest outside <laughs> the size this episode the size of really <laughs> for now as you make your way I'm assuming back to the temple is that where you're headed now you're gonna go through the temple you make your way up stairs towards the king's heaven. It connects the keep and the temple of light. Come across the bridge, seeing brother Nathaniel once again, smiley and cheery to, to see you. How's it going? Thing happening in the castle, but I think the guards have it under control. Man, it's something every day. Well, I'm glad you're all right. How the novices hold up? You know, they proved themselves admirably. I think they will be good additions to the Temple of Light. Hey, if they're studying under you, I know they will be. You are too kind, Nathaniel. Well, I'll see you later. As I you, will see you soon. kind of pass by, um, kind of a hurried Jothrand stumbles into the path, not expecting to run directly into you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Aurelia. Friend, I must warn you. The prisoners have escaped, and they're on their way to the Queen. You must hurry. How... How could that happen? I was performing last rites, and they attacked. And then they went invisible and and they said something about finishing the job i was just going to speak with the queen just now i probably won't have much luck with that now she's probably secured away for her own safety i'm sure He nods to Briar and Karun. I'll nod back. And probably try to hold back some genuine emotion. You see, he is, he is like trying to hold it together, but he knows, like, this is the last moments <laughs> that he gets to see his protege. Um, and he kind of lingers on that for a moment before taking one tiny little step forward to, to pass you guys. Friend. I look forward to our next card game after all this is settled. 
as do I. Blessings of light upon you. You see a tear slide down her cheek as she turns and marches forward without a look back. Kind of marches forward across the King's Heaven as well. Now in the temple. Anything else you would like to do before you make your exit from the temple? Hell no, let's get out of here. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> all times of the essence, all time of our own spell. Get out. <laughs> um, as you make your way to the through the courtyard to the edge of the gate of the temple. Um, sorry, ma'am. Um, it's kind of sealed off right now. There's a lot of uh, civil unrest. Um, priority matters only for leaving and entering right now. We've been sent to carry medical supplies into the Temple of Light, and we need to go to the market. We've been cleared to go by Jothrand. Oh, right. Understood. Um, be swift. We have to open close to get real quick. So, right. And gives a signal. Doors are open. Rowan's going to make his way in between, if he can, Briar and Corun to kind of signify the two the last person to come through so he's not the last person and he's gonna kind of pull Marty up against him so we're in between Briar and Karun as we walk out Make I just imagine across. Rowan's got his hands on like one of their shoulders Marty's got the other one and it's just like mm-hmm. matching their steps <laughs> like a conga line <laughs> da, 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 da. More like a convict line <laughs> as you guys I knew you were gonna make say your <laughs> Ain't no chains here, bruv. Ain't no chains here, bruv. As you make your way across the Temple of Light Bridge into the greater market, the gates open. You are out of the keep, out of the temple, and into the city itself. Oh, so I can speak now. Oh, I really cannot put on any sort of accent except for my own. <laughs> well, we must was... quickly get through and to our destination. We're not out of the woods yet. No. In fact, we probably shouldn't talk much. Who knows what's going on in this town? We need to just get away from the city, kingdom. Miles. Rowan's gonna walk up still invisible to Aurelia and whisper in her ear. Well played. You did good. All right, let's go. Make your way through the market district towards the outer rim of the market district towards the northeast gate of King Haven. Out across the bridge. You exit the city. A ways off you see tethered to some trees and a small bit of of supplies that looks like somebody would be just right back but do you you recognize your horses okay martisan i would like to introduce you to your new horse even though i can't see you Uh, which uh, which one is? Uh, 
Uh, oh. Well, uh, yeah. Right. Once we get out of the city and like we see the horses, uh, Asher's just gonna kind of poke out of Corinne's pocket, just kind of watch everything. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna pull you out, and I'm going to literally place you right on top of the saddle of your horse. <laughs> So that they don't see us going with you, I'm gonna keep you invisible until it, till they're well out of eyesight of the entire city. I'm going to gently grab Aurelia's shirt and pull her towards Honor, which is uh, Jathril's horse. Here, you can take this one. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And Rowan's gonna hop on uh, Alder. Keeping the reins low as if he's not picking it up. Asher's gonna look over back at the party and like as in like do I human form? Horses you, can follow, by the way. As you when they're in a your way, thing like that, you don't have uh, to. Over to the horses, you see behind one of the larger figures, just the edge of kind of an elbow with arms crossed, um, with the familiar cloak. Hi, Safira. Hello. <laughs> with the familiar cloak of Orvis. Aurelia runs to him and gives him a hug. He kind of taken uh, off guard or whatever. He has, keeps his hands up and then kind of wraps him around. So I guess that's that. It is not the end, if I have anything to do with it. Be well and be safe. And thank you. Well, a lot's gonna change around here now. I mean... I always held on hope that I'd see you again, but... Getting you back for that short amount of time and then... It helps in some ways. It's bittersweet. I know you weren't completely gone. Maybe when all of this resolves itself, I'll see you again. Not maybe. You will. Uh, Rowan's gonna jaunt on over to... Still invisible on the horse to uh, Porvis. <laughs> He's going to kind of like lean down. You can't see him, but he's leaning. He's going to lean down and said and say. One of these days, you we got to go for a second round. Thank you. He kind of looks up towards where that is. Shit. <laughs> you got them all. He kind of looks at you. Aurelia. I did. She did good. You know, the way that works out, interesting. You abandon us, join the Temple of Light, and that becomes very handy for today. I'm not a part of the Temple of Light anymore, so you've got your wish. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I wanted you to be a part be... of our little operation, so... Can't do that Porvis. anymore, either. Porvis, I am always your family. No matter where I am. Even if you find your real family. Even then. Well, then I hope you do. 
I hope they don't disappoint. I mean, it's always a chance. Uh, while we're still there, can Rowan go into the bag of holding? Think of Dom's gauntlet. Yep. And I'm gonna... Do I pull anything out? It is there. Asher's going to transform back into human form, saying that, like, hearing. or hearing, like, Rowan sob a little bit. Comfort Dropping his hood the invisibility. Down. Rowan does get out into the woods before. And he's going to kind of move his horse alongside and kind of grab his, like, the back of his neck and pull him in close. Rowan's going to, now that. Corvus can see him, he's gonna throw a fist to Corvus as Dom used to. Corvus, uh, with his flame fist, heats it up a little bit and gives you a bump. Till next time. Oh. Rowan's gonna start trotting the horse towards the road. Asher's gonna cast um, Pass Without a Trace on the party. I'm <clears throat> Karun's going to tell everyone, particularly, you know, uh, Briar already knows, obviously. But you should look in your bags. There's something in there for each of us. As I start to put my coin around my neck. Asher's going to reach in and grab it and just kind of hold it and just stare at it for a second. Rowan's gonna have a moment of hesitation and go into his bag of holding and think of this medallion. And I'm gonna pull it out. I'm just gonna hesitate to look at it for a minute and Open up my hand. On the one side, you see the decorative five of this little carved wooden coin with a small hole with a piece of leather strapped through it to form a little necklace. And flipping around to the other side, you see the image of two stick figures with their arms wrapped around their sh each other's shoulders with flames behind them. Asher's like holding it, just gripping it as tight as he can, and his hand is gonna grab Rowan. And he's just gonna like put his head next to his. Asher. On yours, a. A wolf head holding a sword in its mouth as. Briar had discovered while looking through your bag. Karan, did you look for yours as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. I pulled mine out and was starting to put mine on, but yeah, I guess we never described mine. I don't think. And Karan's with the decorative five on one side and a wine glass clinking a beer mug. <laughs> Uh, 
Asher's gonna throw gonna, his on. Still kind of holding his forehead next to Rowan's and be like, let's get out to a safe area and let's have a... Let's... I'll lead the way. Home. I'll lead the way. We ride fast. Everything from here is for Dom. Everything. Rowan's gonna just tap his heels on the side of the horse and go into a full gallop. It's blazing the way. Rowan takes off and Marty kind of pats Tom's horse and kind of presses his head against uh, kind of the, the meat of its thigh and then struggles and climbs on up and then giddies on up to try and catch up towards you. Aurelia gives one last look at the home that she's only ever, she's only known this home. And one last look at Porvis. And then turns and ushers her horse forward. You see, he kind of like rubs his knuckles. Cracks them and then kind of does like a, all right. And then turns to head back into the city. While Asher's chasing Rowan down, he's gonna like kind of look down at the necklace and look, take one last look back at the keep and the city, and then back down at the necklace and just ride hard. party thinking on the events prior rides is the city that was a distant memory still freshly bleeding in the hearts of the party as the night approaches The torches that are lit along the roadside closer to the to the Kinghaven Road become scant and farther further and far between. So we're sorry. Yeah. No, go ahead. Um, are we, where are we, we're heading, I pulled up the map, Polson. Um, I, I think the route that we would like to take from the Northeast. You also kind of have to discuss exactly where you guys are wanting to go. So if you want to, well, I'm, that's where I'm like, trying to figure having out. Having gotten so some looking... distance, I think the initial concern was just getting distance from the city. Um, are we more in the Den Lake direction or Kesserly? Um, like where do so we exit? You're, yeah, yeah which way do we exit? exit? I'm North. assuming the northeast so, would be Den Lake. Up here. Um, so yeah, so heading out the northeast gate, uh, the northeast gate is or uh, bridge is technically uh, on the other side. Um, like on the left side of that river that runs up towards Branbridge. So we're basically yes. exiting the city like due south of Branbridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Okay. okay, cool. Um, that's that's actually perfect. And uh, for the viewers at so home that are confused, exclamation point discord and you go and look at Delvius Lorem's lore compendium. There is maps and there is the map that they're looking at. <laughs> 
Um, so I'm assuming we're right next to that river ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of riding um, along. We've the made river that there. okay. Um, Rowan kind of leading the way is going to take them into the woods there. And Asher will um, way, keep way off the roads. Trace up for the next. I think he could do it for four to five hours. Excellent. Um, and... But I'm assuming at this point we want to rest. I can take care of that. So uh, once we get far enough and we're in the woods, I will debark off of Picket and go into the trees and try to find a nice cluster of them to kind of like shield and if I find that I'll come back to the party and take them to the little wood thicket. Roll a survival check. Hmm. While she's doing that I'm going to take my horse and get up to Karan and he's going to lean over he's like do you do you think you can do uh, that mind thing that you did with uh, Dom. Detect thoughts. Yes, I can actually. I haven't I, used it today. I need to reach my family and let them know we're coming. And Corey is on her way too. Thank you. Hearing oh, that, Astro's gonna also message Corey whenever they get done. He's getting dependent by. Um, yeah. Well, I guess. Introduce me to your family. And I'll... But once it's once um, uh, Briar comes back, and then when we get settled, it'll be more of like a when we're by the campfire kind of a thing. Yeah. I rolled a survival fourteen plus three. That's a seventeen. You find a, a decent enough area, kind of. Um, shrouded by the different um so you're kind of in the king's boar woods um that are seldom accessed it's usually what like it's where he would do his boar hunting and stuff like that um kind of reserved for the king uh so there's not a whole lot of like other camps and stuff around okay so you guys are going to we're going to have to get pretty close to each other for this um if you could all get very close to me, please. It'll be tight quarters, but you can exit and enter as you wish. But I am going to be present here for a bit. Okay. And uh, she's going to start casting Tiny Hut. Inside of the trees, protecting us all. Tomorrow I can also make terrain. I can't do it today. I chose a different spell. So, this tiny hut is uh, flavored. Um, when you're inside, uh, the tree, when she goes up to the trees and you're all with her, they kind of hum and welcome, and their leaves kind of start to like shiver and shake. And she walks up and she starts to pet them. And uh, the humming, uh, Asher, you're a druid, so I think you would be able to feel it reverberate through your bones. Um, the ground is very soft grass, and uh, we are not permitted to make fire here, but we're safe and the trees will protect us. As the, sh the dome goes over, it smells like, unlike any forest or mountain or jungle any of you have ever been into, because it smells like the amaranth, which is familiar to Koron. Um, and it's very faintly lit, enough to see one another and enjoy each other's company, but still be able to sleep. So, yeah. Safe. <laughs> it watches her do this and is just a little, like, subtly mesmerized by Briar's ability. <laughs> 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 Interesting. When there's a, when there's a quick moment, um, Rowan's gonna hug Briar and Karan and not say anything. I'm sure they know. 
and then go uh, kind of settle down and he's going to eat a half piece of that elm bread that his mom made because he hasn't eaten and he's yeah, Asher's just gonna take up the, his piece out of his uh, backpack, and he's just gonna sing around, and do that. It's just like eat the entire piece and be like, "Holy crap, food!" Oh, actually, yes. Uh, I don't think he ever ate his. And she's gonna grab that ration and give it to Aurelia. My mom made that. It's a uh, alien bread. You see, Elven. Marty is just like. Marty, can you can have mine. It's okay, sweetheart. Uh, are you sure? I wouldn't. There. We all had plenty. Like we all had several. Yeah. people, I remember mm -hmm. right. So there was a lot. Yeah, five. Yeah, five he says, I, he's like reaching out. I wouldn't want to take from the party. I wouldn't want to be a burden. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Porvis is still on screen. Oops. <laughs> oh. um. um. Excuse me for. Just a, and he's gonna send a message to Coria, and he's just gonna. Coria, we survived. Apparently, are you on your way? I'm sorry for the scare. It is good to hear. Yes, we have. We set out yesterday. We are uh, taking the long route, but it seems a bit more safer from what we've heard. We are probably going to make a stop in Goldshade in a couple days, and then we're headed that way. Uh, he's going to use a second charge. And send. don't stop in the towns, live off the land. We we are very bad off. Dom. Dom didn't. Dom didn't make it. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope everyone is doing okay. I know how much he meant to everyone. We may have to make a stop for some supplies. But then we will not stop from there. You should see Tamprin. <laughs> she just ends on that as with kind of like the laugh of you should see Tamprin. <laughs> Uh, like, because Asher's gonna walk out of the dome for this, and you guys are just gonna see him like mid conversation. He's just gonna finally fall to his knees and start basically crying. This doesn't make sense. And then he's. Yeah, he's just gonna sit there for a while and just like absorb everything that's gone on the last day and a half or two. It's been two days. Um <clears throat> Karun, if, uh, if you wouldn't mind. Hmm. So long as you're ready. Um and you know what you want me to say. What yeah. I said. Uh, if you speak to a I don't know if you're directly seeking somebody in particular but if you speak to a male figure it's my father falls in um, and then uh, if it's a female it's more than likely my my mother Ella well Just who would you like me to attempt Yes. Well, who would you uh, like me to attempt to reach? I, first, let's do I, this. How's about you introduce me as best as we can, and yeah. then we can go from there. Rowan's gonna sit cross, uh, apple cross, right in front of him, and kind of doing like a meditation that he learned from Asher in the prison cell, and he's just gonna just 
open his mind to Kurum and try to bring his mom to the top of his memory. Okay, so I'll detect thoughts. And... So it's specifically going to be your mother, then? It's specifically Sorry. my mother. Yeah, everyone's okay. trying to bring his mom to the surface. Okay. And what so. does he see? Uh, you're going to see a memory of a little hands going up to a woman at a sink uh, who's assumingly doing dishes and you're going to see a woman uh, with brown brown hair silver eyes just like Rowan with a bright smile uh, lean down and pick him up and you clearly can see like a bounce on the hip and she points to the outside um, and then you'll see a man pulling a uh, like a reverse uh, wheelbarrow um, through the window as if he's coming home from work that's what you see. That was a very tender memory. Thank you for sharing that with me, Rowan. I feel I might be able to reach your mother more easily after that. Only saw a glimpse of who I assume your father was. What was your mother's name again? Ella. Ella. All right. Is there anything in particular you would like me to say to her? Her Otherwise, son is coming home. Very well. Um, with all of you guys, of course, I don't want to surprise her <laughs> with a huge I'd, party. I'd definitely let her know. I have to introduce myself first off in the first place um come with me uh because we have to step outside yeah. that that still applies so yeah we'll step outside and uh i'll attempt to send a message to hello and um i'll say uh, my name is Karun. i'm a friend of rowan's we and your son will be coming back to see you as soon as we can. Please do keep it a secret from most people for now. I think I might have gone over, but... There is a moment After some time, a soft voice replies, next time on Legends of Ayla. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, we were so close. Hey, there's been worse cliffhangers we've been held on, so I guess. Yeah. yeah, this is, at least this isn't like a bad one. <laughs> That's true. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. The voice sounded a lot like the Dragon Ball Z announcer. <laughs> Next time. Next time on Legends of oh, <laughs> Knew that was coming. I'm sorry. Had to do it to you. Ah. <sighs> Rowan's family. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you're going to see your family, you know what that means. 
it's time for your arc, and you know what happens when you follow your arc? Guess I'll die. Guess I'll die. <laughs> ah, I'm excited because it's getting to that point. It's getting to that point. <laughs> Sorry, and by that I mean things, things to happen, and uh, yes, yes. All the enigmatic. No, it wasn't all bad. Just yeah, just it's just stuff coming up. There's stuff coming up. It's gonna happen. There's gonna be things. It's, it's like we're telling a story or something. It's wow. It's so strange. Stuff and things. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. and stuff and stuff and things all right guys i'm sweating you're sweating <laughs> why <laughs> at least you know a soft voice replies yeah so you know at she's least not I dead know, i know she's not <laughs> dead. Yeah. That's, that's before the anything part. happens she's not yeah. dead she's not dead but, I mean, oh, please help <laughs> <laughs> you must have the wrong person. Sorry, my name's not Ella. You must have the wrong person. Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong number. Uh. Oh, no. Legends! Exclamation point! Hero Forge. Get your Hero Forge. Just get your little Hero Forge mo models. You're so cute. Exclamation point candles. Just get your little candles. Why don't you just do it? You're so cute. Exclamation point discord. Come hang out with us. It's an amazing community. Just <laughs> love these peoples. Hannah, thank you once again for being an amazing guest. Just so smooth with your words oh, and yes, transitions. Right? Jesus. It's so was... I was ready for combat. <laughs> You're almost there. Oh, we can tell. Am I going into wild shape as a hedgehog, or am I going wild shape as a I'm about to maul this guy's face in? <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, guys. Make sure you jo join the Discord. Come hang out with us. I hope we had a good time. If we're going to stick around. We're going to show somebody some love. We're going to do a raid. Copy and paste that raid. If you're subscribed and you'll send those emotes once we do the little raidy raid. All Don't right. You. Oh, God damn it. Magic. <laughs> Don't you, you gotta know? Do it. It's magic. It's <laughs> magic. <laughs> okay. So it'd be, wait. Don't you know? So if we're prior, we'd be a blah, blah, blah. Don't you? I can't. I know. <laughs> Don't you know? I can't. Don't you know? Don't you know? I don't think you can say, don't you know, without sounding... Don't don't you? Any other don't you know? Don't you know? It's like soot and soot. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? It's with the chat. All right. Okay. It's time. It's time to go show somebody some love. Stick stick some stick some stick something huh? up. Stick <laughs> around. <laughs> Sorry, what? a little bit of a Freudian slip there. <laughs> We're gonna stick, it <laughs> stick it up your butt. Um, this raid. Stick around. Show somebody some love. And.